In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create two full brochure design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added one business image and you can add the title here. And I have used only two colors. And then you can add your company logo and the name. And then you can add some business title here and more detailed text. And towards the left side, you can add one more uh, 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 title with the year. And then you can add uh, more options here and the top you can add some subtitle and add some contact information like email a telephone number etc i have created one more uh, slide but with a different color combination so you can see here i've just made some different color combination with more bold text and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can contribute to my channel through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010 some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides as you can see here i have set up the margin to set up the margin you can right mouse click and go to the grid and guides and then you can add the vertical guide or you can add the horizontal guide okay for example if i would like to add a vertical guide i'll just click that one and you can see here a vertical guide has been added here and then you can just wherever you want you can position that one all right so let me just position this here if you want you can add multiple also again go here you can add again a vertical you can see here and again you can just align it if you want to delete simply select this one and delete that one all right then go to home sorry go to insert shapes from the rectangle i am going to select the one which is rectangle single corner rounded select that object and draw this much size and shape outline make it no outline and you can see here the curve part i want to bring it down for that go to rotate and say flip vertical and if you want to increase the curve you can just drag this one you can see here drag this inside if you drag this outside there will be no curve so i want to have maybe this much curve and later on we can adjust that one and then i want like to add one more shape here for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle draw the right triangle all right the same uh, color shape outline make it no outline if you like to change the color also you can change it maybe i'm going to give dark and for this also i'm going to give the same color all right and then i'm going to select this one i'm going to rotate it flip vertical again now i'm going to align this one so that it looks like one object for that let me just zoom in a little bit less all right and then i can just drag this one here you can see here we need to align it perfectly all right you can see here it looks like one object now again if you like to add or edit you can just go down and again if you see here it's going outside so let's align it properly if you again if you may move inside and then also you can just do something like this so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease see here if you do something like that it will look like this so it's not looking good also so i need to align it properly so that it looks like one object all right so maybe this looks perfect for me or still i need to adjust it more you can see here still there's some gap is there i need to zoom in a little bit you can see here still some gap is there so i just need to align it properly all right so i think this is okay so now i've got this shape so i'm going to select both this one and go to format merge shape you can make this as a union now i would like to add one more shape i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this one and i'm going to give some other color like this and here i'm going to reduce the size all right and then i can just send this to pack so one more 
a shape I have added and if you like to add one more shape for example you like to add one oval shape also you can add the oval shape like this by holding the shift key or if you like to add another shape again it's up to you for example if you don't want this one again you would like to add one the same one which is I'm going to select the single rounded corner again draw it single rounded corner you can see here something like this and you can make it if you want you can make it more curved all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can do this one for example i'm going to increase the size and then i'm going to cut one part go to insert shapes i'm going to select the right triangle and draw the right triangle shape outline no outline and then i'm going to rotate it flip horizontal you can see here something like this and again align it properly so that you should not you know otherwise what happens here is some lines will be visible so i'm going to select this one the hold the shift key select this one format merge shape and subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this all right so this side is over now i'm going to add the other side the the top bottom or the bottom right side here so i'm going to select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side you can see here and then go to format rotate i would like to rotate you can see here a variety of options available so we need to just click till first the horizontal and then the vertical and then if i like to increase the size also i can increase it all right and then till put it till the the slide end here and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d going to change the color i'm going to reduce the size and i'm going to put it something like this and send this to back all right so we got a shape here also and then if you like to add a few more shape for example press ctrl d i would like to give uh, some other color maybe this color and then i'm just going to put it here somewhat reduce the size you can see here and send this to back so we end up getting a shape something like this also all right so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease or add the shapes so once this is done and now i would like to add more detailed text here and before adding some text i would like to change and add some image here for that select this object right mouse click go to format shape under fill select picture or texture fill you can see here again click on insert i'm going to select the online pictures and for this you need to have the active internet connection or any image of which is just saved in your pc also you can do it so i'm just going to type business all right and then it will give me a variety of options so depending on my requirement i'm going to choose uh, any good image which i feel uh, it is a matching with my requirement so for example i'm going to choose maybe uh, this one all right and then click insert so you can see here the image has been inserted and then sometimes it will be the image will be upside down for that you need to untick this one all right you can see here and then if you want you can just increase or the offset the properties here anyway for the time being i'm not going to do that one now let me just add some text here here i'm going to type title all right and then write a line make it bold open sans and the color i'm going to choose maybe white if it is not visible we need to change the some other color all right so this is done and then i'm going to insert text box i'm going to say that creative all right and right align i'm going to give some dark color here make it bold open sans increase the size so i'm just saying creative press ctrl d i'll say brochure and for this i'm going to increase the size all right let me just align this one to the right and then 
I'm going to add here creative brochure and then I'm going to say 2022 and if you want to increase the size you can increase it if you want to change the color also you can change it and then you can put it here and make sure that this is properly aligned all right so and then you can add some text here also go to insert text box i'll just say your subtitle here and this also i'm going to make it right align the font will be white open sans if you want you can make it bold and put it here all right and then you can add some option or the shapes also here for example i would like to add this one shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to use this one the teal color and then you can add some option here you can add some text here any text of your of your choice so i'm just going option one so i'm just going to put it here white color reduce the size all right hold the control shift key together add one more this is the option two and then you can add more detailed text here i'm going to add one line just straight line all right i can add one line here and then i can add few more well, like example if i want to like to add some icons here like look uh, your email your phone number or whatever for example let me just go to the the communications all right and then i'm going to add this one and then i would like to add uh, maybe the telephone all right and some whatsapp or whatever and click insert and this one height i'm going to make it as 0.4 only the smaller one and then i'm going to put it here you can see here something like this and you can just change the color to this color and then you can add more text here for example i'm just saying this is 0 1 1 2 three four five six seven eight so this is my telephone number reduce the size you can give a dark color hold the control shift key bring it this one your email address your email at email.com you can see here and then any whatsapp group or whatever you can just add it here at the rate your name etc all right so once this is done on the right side also you can add some main title here i'm just saying your business title here make it bold increase the size open sans right mouse click all right and then you can add some detailed text here equals L-O-R-E-M within bracket one so it give me some text again I can make it justify reduce the size I can give maybe light color reduce the size and then this side you can add company name and company logo also so you can add the logo go to insert shapes I'm going to select one oval shape here you can add the company logo on this one maybe i'm going to give some gray color and you can add company name and then to have a twofold look for that i'm going to add one shape here from the center all right maybe this much size shape outline no outline i'm going to select the gradient fill now gradient fill by default four stops are there i'm going to delete two stops the first stop i'm going to select black and second stop also i'm going to select block both as both are black then the direction i can just choose any direction and then the second one i'm going to make it transparent you can see here something like this and this also i'm going to make it transparent but a little bit less you can see here and then if i want i can just move this a little bit so you can see here it got a, a, a full design here so like this you can add your own text and more uh, details to it.